the financial system stays up, but the dollar gets toasted, then you lose purchasing power with the dollars that you didn't lose. And that's why basically all roads lead to gold and silver, because if the financial system comes down, what's the only thing that cannot bankrupt? Or what's the only money that can't bankrupt? Gold and silver. And conversely, if the dollar gets roasted, what's going to happen with gold and silver? they'll at least hold their purchasing power and when the derivatives get blown up they'll probably explode to many multiples of purchase of current purchasing power so all roads lead to gold and silver from where the fed stands now they're between a rock and a hard place they only have two choices and either choice is literally destruction of the standard of living here in the u.s it's not the new world order that George Bush talked about in 1991 and, and more and more talked about since then. The new world order was the meeting yesterday between Xi and Putin. And it will not surprise me on any given morning where you wake up and you find out that China and Russia announced that, that they are going to uh, gold-backed currencies. Not convertible currencies, but gold-backed currencies. And that will destroy the dollar um, and it will also bring into question the amount of gold that the U.S. has. And, you know, we've talked about this many times. There's not been an audit of Fort Knox and West Point since the 1950s. And you have to ask why. And the only possible reason is because the gold's not actually there. What, what's going to happen is going to be really bad. And I think there will be a, a period of time where barter is more prevalent than anything else. But you have to know what is the next currency, uh, what are the currencies in uh, in Russia and China, what currencies are they going to use worldwide, and you have to you also have to know what price they're going to mark gold up, because gold is going to be marked up. It will be priced at whatever China and Russia says it is, and COMEX, uh, LBMA, LME, they're going to be irrelevant. Even talking about or thinking about the quote unquote price of gold. And this has certainly been on my mind a lot as clients are concerned about having to pay potentially capital gains tax on increase in nominal value of precious metals, that sort of thing. The whole concept of the price of money in something else um, <clears throat> almost makes no sense rather than turning that around and saying gold is, silver is, what's the price of everything in gold and silver? Uh, how do you think it might be helpful for people to get their head on straight about that to really get into the what the future is going to bring? No, I agree. Uh, we've been taught, I mean, I'm 60 years old or a little over 60 years old, and we've been taught to value things in dollars when in fact it's the dollar that should be valued in terms of gold as opposed to gold valued in dollars. And I've said for years and years that once this thing comes to fruition, you will count your wealth in ounces no longer in dollars. Because, I mean, there's going to be days where uh, after the initial reset, there will be days where you're going to see the, the dollar drop 10, 20 percent or more in a day's time versus gold. And it's not gold going up because an ounce that was was uh, minted 100 years ago is still that same ounce. But the dollar that was printed 100 years ago is not the same dollar. It's only one penny. Yeah, that's going to be a huge shift because there's not going to be exchanges. That you can look on your computer or watch the TV or whatever and see a price of gold going across the, the bottom line or a price of silver going across the bottom line. Once it gets down to that, where what someone's willing to to give for one ounce of gold or one ounce of silver or whatever and that happens thousands or millions of times a day that's the new market the exchanges will like i said they will become completely irrelevant they will fail they won't deliver and you won't even get a a spot price the price basically is between you know if if i've got eggs and you've got silver we got to decide you and I, you know, how much, how, what percentage of an ounce of silver does a dozen eggs fetch? So it's, it, you know, it's going to be on an individual basis. And then you will eventually see true market clearing prices. And I, I firmly believe you're going to see much, much higher uh, purchasing power 
in gold and silver. I'm not talking about you know gold going to $100,000 an ounce or silver to $10,000 an ounce or like that. I'm not talking about in dollars. I'm talking about what will an ounce of gold purchase? Will it purchase uh, what it does today? You know, $1,000 worth of goods. Will it purchase a car? Will it purchase uh, some acreage of land? That's that's where the true uh, clearing price is going to be decided is going to be between individuals. And anybody who think has the mindset of, well, how am I going to get rid of gold? Forget about it because you're comp- you're thinking about it completely, completely wrong. Because the rest of the world is going to be wondering, how do I get gold? And you already have it. So you're going to have people banging your door down, hopefully not literally, but you know people are going to be coming to you uh, wanting to get your gold for goods, for services, what have you. So it's to think or to worry about how am I going to how am I going to turn it back into dollars or currency? That's really that's dumb think. Uh, and as far as holding uh, U.S. coin, what has happened? as far as the premium, meaning the most sought after, gold eagles, silver eagles. I mean, look at look at so what some of the, the discount dealers are doing now. I mean, I looked on uh, AppMax just to see what they're doing. They're, I think they're $14 over spot on junk. And by the way, we've not had any junk for almost two weeks. It's been, it's gone. Um, so if you own junk, you have premium coin. Look at the premium on Eagles at Atmex, 15, 16, 17 dollars. That's in my opinion way too high, but it's still a pretty high premium, 11 bucks, 12 bucks, whatever. Uh, and then uh, in the gold area, you know, gold is uh, gold Eagles are what? 7, 8% over spot versus other foreign sovereigns that are 2%. But look at the pre 1933 gold. I don't know if you've looked at it in the last maybe three weeks, four weeks. I mean, you're looking at MS-63 libs now over 2,500 bucks. You're looking at uh, MS-63 Saints, nearly 2,500 bucks. And the bids are strong there. And you're looking at Eagles at what, 20, 21, 20, 21, 30, something like that. So the premium finally is starting to move and understand that the pre-33 coins and the junk pre or 1964 and earlier dimes, quarters and halves, they haven't minted those in what, uh, almost 60 years for the junk and 100 years for the pre-33 gold. They are the canaries in the coal mine. And the fact that you can't find junk anywhere, I, I, I challenge anybody to go out and find 10 or 20 bags of junk. You can't do it, it's all gone. And so that's for silver and in gold all of a sudden just in the last three or four weeks the premiums on the pre-1933 gold are starting to skyrocket those those tell you that the demand is overwhelming the supply because there is no new supply of that um in gold i would advise just do the eagles i mean what's the difference between a five or six percent premium and seven or eight percent there's really no difference so in gold i think it's a no-brainer you do eagles and if you want some of the pre-33 gold, you do that. Um, with with the Eagles, uh, I mean with silver, yeah, you should definitely have some Eagles. Hopefully you've already bought some junk. Um, I mean, I personally use silver as my bank account and you know, every month, once or twice a month, I buy silver. I don't keep money in the bank, I keep no more than six months worth of bills in the bank and this last two weeks i went out and i bought 100 ounce silver bars because i know i'm going to have to liquidate it for taxes i know i've got other responsibilities coming up uh, and that'll be the first thing i liquidate the last thing i liquidate will be the junk silver which is probably i don't know 80 or 85 percent of what i hold you know stored